A daring new expedition is underway. Tracking their tagged great whites more than a thousand miles deep into open ocean to an area known as SOFA, the shared offshore foraging area. I named the SOFA the shared offshore foraging area for a reason. That area is shared not only by white sharks from Guadalupe Island, but also white sharks from Central California. In fact, there could be white sharks from other areas also using the SOFA that we don't even know about. The great whites journey here and disappear for up to six months out of the year. The team wants to know, what are they doing? Are they eating? Are they reproducing? What are they doing? Can we, can, can we find them? Can we bring them to us? Will the weather conditions hold for us that we can actually uh, do some work once we're out there? It's a huge area. So to go out there and find a white shark is a daunting task. As the expedition team heads into this mysterious realm, the first question Dr. Domeyer wants to answer is what sustains the great whites out here for such long periods of time. One of the most important things we want to do on this trip is find out how are these sharks surviving out here for six months? They got to be eating something, right? So we don't have no idea. This is one of our best bets on identifying that. That best bet is an endoscope, a camera that can peer deep into a shark's stomach to see what's inside. It looks very high tech, but really it's the only way that we have a chance of looking at what they're eating without killing the shark and cutting it open. And that's just not acceptable. They've brought along a new crew member to help them use it. Medical professional, Tom Flood. We've got two scopes. We've got this one that's industrial. It's just this. And then here's your TV monitor. Okay. Where's the lighting on that? Is it external or is it's it in built into that? It's built on the end. Oh yeah, it's on the very end. It will take them three days to get to SOFA and possibly many more days before they get to fish. So they have some time to practice. <laughs> Collectively, these guys have spent tens of thousands of hours at sea. But tracking sharks into a vast open ocean for nearly a month is unsettling. Up. This trip feels so different than any other trip we've made before. It was different when I left my wife and my family. I'm going through some sort of thing where I'm not really totally accepting the length of the trip. Everyone seems mentally stable, emotionally stable. Those are some of my bigger concerns on this trip. 27 days at sea, some, some people, somebody's going to lose it on this trip. Only one day out, and they're already a lifetime from where they started, their home port of San Diego.